Hey guys, uh, welcome to another video. I hope you all had a great new year and I hope this coming year will be the best, the most successful and the healthiest to you and your beautiful families. We're gonna start off, even though the video you saw yesterday was shot before new year, so this one is shot today, right after new year's. Well, as of public demand, we're gonna have to convert a DVD movie into digital or to be more precise into mp4 and no this is not a video tutorial how to illegally do that or share these movies with anyone or whatever the, 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 those things are today this is strictly for educational purposes on a technical level because these movies inside these dvds are not in mp4 format so you're not going to be able to just drag and drop it to a hard drive that you would like to save them or any of that stuff and you, i will show you right here here i have a lot of movies as you see movies and software and all that other kind of stuff in both sides not to mention that i have two more bags and i have another full drawer with them yes this is not what you think stop thinking that it's actually just dust that's solidified <laughs> but yeah i have a lot of cds a lot of dvds a lot of blu-rays i just like to keep them but unfortunately some of them start going bad the back of them start splitting and they start not reading anymore and unfortunately you lose the content inside of them so for today i'm gonna choose hotel rwanda because I want to save this one on my hard drive just to have it. Because yes, we used to buy these movies at the Redbox or uh, Blockbuster or whatever else you want to say. And yeah, I'm sounding like a boomer now. So thank you guys for requesting this kind of video to remind me that I'm older than some of you. <laughs> okay, let me take this back out of here. And now we are left with this device here, which is just a simple maybe 20 bucks external cd dvd reader and writer how it works you just plug it in with a regular usb no need for drivers or anything you put your movie inside same way that i showed on a video before how to burn cds or dvds and those things and next let's go to our computer screen and see what's inside this dvd shall we we are here and yes it has been recognized now it should be on our drive g as you see, a lot of times your computer may not even play it right away. And if you click here, open it. As you see, you have these video, audio, and all these files separate. And if I take these files here and put somewhere, they will not play in the movie. Video, these are parts of the DVD, as you see here. And if you go into uh, co uh, converting them one by one, that's not going to work very well. So... There is a software for that, and uh, it's coming from uh, Wondershare, the same software that I use for my video editing, uh, Wondershare Filmora. And no, I'm not going to get into the controversies, because for me it has worked just fine. And we go here, it's called Wondershare Uniconverter. Wondershare Uniconverter. You can convert other stuff as well, you can transfer, you can do all that stuff. But in this case, we're going to do this DVD into an MP4. So the software now grabs everything in that DVD, turns it, t turns it into one single file that is readable from your computer, from your player, even from your phone. And I'm just going to click right here, load DVD. I wait for it to recognize the DVD inside our reader and writer. And now it has recognized it. In this case, I'm going to do main movie because I, if you're too young to understand this part, maybe just listen for a second. Yes, they used to come with ads, with movie trailers and all that other kind of su stuff, title intros and stuff that I don't really need to convert into my MP4. So I'll just click main movie, click OK. And now it starts analyzing the DVD and right here. Now we have our DVD 720 by 480 and the output would be 856 by 480. So it's kind of a wider screen and it says two hours, one minute, 3.7 gigabytes. And I'm just going to hit convert this. I want it to be in MP4 only. And you can change the title right here, the output title. I'm just going to put it Hotel Rwanda, as you see here. And the title is done now. You can hit enter and you click convert and wait for it. Uh, 
and as you saw it just finished converting and uh now we're just gonna take a look at where i put it on the designated folder and here you'll see all the movies that have already been converted including this one that we just uh renamed and no i'm not gonna show the movie because that's uh you know the copyright stuff as you see it's a very beautiful movie if you haven't watched it i suggest you actually go take a look at it it's based on a real story unfortunately but yeah that's besides the point and uh here we see that this is the way to convert your dvd discs into mp4 files and uh, if you didn't notice here yes the ending of this uh video if you go properties it is an mp4 file and now i'm just gonna save it to my hard drive for future use if i want to rewatch the movie or something since i own the disc already and uh with that said I hope you learned something from this video and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.